What's up everyone? So this 2015 Audi Q5 is due for an oil change. So I thought I would shoot a quick video on two methods that you can use to change your oil. And the first one involves using something called a fluid extractor. I'll get more into that uh, in a bit. And then the second method is just your traditional open up the drain plug, drain the oil, and change the oil filter. And what you'll need is a good quality oil. This is what I like to use because it meets VW 502 specs, uh, oil filter, and you'll definitely need an, a, a wrench to get the old oil filter out. This is an Audi specific one, but you can also use a generic uh, type like this. And then don't forget the funnel for filling up with new oil. And then for the first method, you want the fluid extractor. They're sometimes called an oil extractor. This is the model that I bought from Amazon. They also make smaller models uh, for around 80 bucks, I believe. Basically, this is a tool that allows you to pump the oil out of the oil pan without having to crawl underneath the car and undo the drain plug. It is awesome and I recommend it to everybody. It just makes the oil change process so much easier. And I'll show you how to correctly use that uh, later on in the video. If you're doing the traditional method where you're crawling under the car and undoing the drain plug, you will want the T45 torque socket uh, for the drain plug. And then you'll also want the T20 for the underbody cover. And then finally, you want some kind of oil drain pan to collect the old oil. Great, so let's go ahead and dive right into this job. The first thing you want to do is remove this engine cover. It just pops right up. Uh, and then you want to remove the oil filter itself. Uh, I recommend removing the oil filter first because if you have issues getting the oil filter off, uh, then there's no point in doing any of the other steps. Uh, here I'm using the generic wrench to slowly turn the oil filter counterclockwise. Um, again, they make an Audi specific one like this but you can use a lot of different oil filter wrenches um, out there on the market. Personally, this one is just very easy to use. Uh, once the oil filter is loose, you can just spin it off. Uh, don't need to worry about any oil spills or anything. Yeah, I love this design. Clean off the surface. Now we're gonna extract the fluid. So first remove the cap from the port and then slide the tube that came with your fluid extractor uh, all the way till you hit, uh, hit resistance. Now I'm gonna use the pump on the fluid extractor to get that oil flowing. You can see it's starting to flow slowly. Uh, these uh, these fluid extractors you can also hook up to your compressed air, but I find that using compressed air is not as effective as just using a hand pump on the tool itself. So the only downside to using a fluid extractor like this is that pumping out the oil takes longer than you would have if you drained the oil from the oil pan. And the other disadvantage is that there is potential to not pump out all the old fluid if you're not careful. So you can see here, uh, I've got no more fluid coming out, but if I look at how much I've pumped out, I'm only at a little over four quarts. Uh, this thing's in liters, by the way. So I've got a little over four quarts and I'm still missing that one quart of oil uh, since the capacity is uh, almost five quarts. So the trick to doing this is to further push the line or the tube down into the oil pan and then twist it up here. So this twisting action will rotate the tube inside the oil pan and allow that tube to reach the rest of the oil. I did want to mention that you want the car warmed up for a couple of minutes because if the engine is cold and the oil is cold, it's just not going to flow very well and it's just going to take a long time getting the oil out. So make sure that the oil is warmed up. Give it a few more uh, pumps on the handle and then the rest of the oil will start flowing. So further in the video I am going to go ahead and crawl into the car and remove the drain plug just to see how much oil I pumped out and if there's anything left in the oil pan. I think I'm going to get everything uh, using this method. 
And finally, about 10 minutes later, there's no more oil pumping out. And if I look at the level again, I'm just over five quarts. So that's great. I've got all the oil out. Um, I also like to suck out all the oil in the oil filter housing right here. So now I'm going to go under the car and do the traditional method of draining the oil using the oil drain plug. First I need to remove this underbody cover. There are three screws here in the back. And then undo the T20 screws all along the front of this cover right here. Once I have those loose, the cover just drops down. And right away you can see the oil drain plug right there. It does require that T45 socket. And at this point, if you didn't use a fluid extractor, you would have an oil drain pen ready to catch that fluid from the oil pan. Uh, nothing came out over here, so that means I got all the oil pumped out, which is great. I'm gonna clean everything up and reinstall that drain plug and then torque it down to 30 Newton meters. Then reinstall the underbody cover. All right, then back on top of the engine, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the new oil filter. And this is an important step. You wanna grab some of the clean oil and spread a thin film of it all around the rubber gasket that's on the oil filter. And then please don't over tighten the new oil filter. All it needs is to be tightened down using one hand and that should be plenty. Then it's just a matter of filling the engine up with clean oil. The capacity again is 4.9 quarts, which is about 90% of this five liter jug. Don't forget to reinstall the cap on the port itself and then also the plastic engine cover. I'm gonna go back into the car, start it up and uh, reset the oil change interval through the MMI interface. You do that by going into the car menu. And then I'm also gonna check the oil level. And because these cars don't include the traditional oil dipstick, I have to rely on the MMI interface to show me the oil level. And before that will get displayed, you need to have the engine at operating temp. And then you also need to have the hood closed. So once I have the car warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off, wait a couple of minutes, and then not start the engine, but turn the car back on. And after a few minutes, the MMI interface will show the correct oil level. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something new and found it helpful. I recommend using the oil extractor to everyone. It just makes this job so much easier, especially when it's winter time and you don't feel like crawling around underneath the car. Uh, also, don't forget, you can use this to extract any other fluid in your car, not just oil. See you guys in the next video.